Hey guys, it's my here. Uh, I'm on the other side of first in Giggleway in 2012. I'm back to install uh, OSX Mountain Lion. I guess I was done to a couple of things you know, that you should do before you install it. Um, just make sure that all your data is back up on either a um, portable or a um, portable hard drive because yeah, that's that the main thing you, you really need to remember is to get back up all your data first because when we install this new new operating system there's nothing gonna be left on the um uh, hard drive uh, so we have to restart the computer and then and then hold down the out or the option key or restart so then you can boot from the um, DVD. So let's get in there. You should come up. So when you reboot the computer, you get this screen if you hold down the option key. And then you're going to use the keyboard to go over to the DVD. And then push enter. Yeah, guys, I'm back. All that talking about eight minutes to do all that. From when you click on boot from the to to this screen, you're talking about eight minutes. And then you click on this YouTube, and then click continue. I think. Right. This looks I'm gonna wait for that to load. Okay. Click on the um, whatever drive the video uh, I was on. You need to click on that, and then you need to go. So you can't leave it down here. We've got only 260 gig free. Um, you need to click on erase. I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna call it OSX 10.8 for mountain lion and then you need to click on the race and get leave the format as that as it has it come by default 
And then, uh, as you can see here, all the mango bands, see, we have now 249 gig free. So that's all done. And now, we can prepare to install it. So you go click the X. Click on the close that. Go back to this, and then you can click on. They install a new copy of Mac uh, OS X. Click that, and then you can click continue. And this will come up, and they click continue, and they click agree, and here whatever, agree, and then they can choose what drive you want on. So we're going to put on the solid state drive, which is this one here and click on that and then you can click install okay. now I'm going to install it on the SSD The um, screen gone black. <laughs> <laughs> it went bang. No, 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 no. Uh, I don't know why it does that, but. The second from the left? No one. We have bomb. We have a boy. Do you mean that one? Pepper Mountain? Yeah. Oh. Hey, we have a boy. Yeah. Second from the end. Yeah. That's the good case of your mail boy. Mm. Yeah, yeah, she's kind of cool. Yeah, she's a good boy. Mm. Right now, we are presented with this page. So now you guys need to choose what country you're in. I'm in... OS X includes a built-in screen reader called VoiceOver. <laughs> if you know how to use VoiceOver, press Command F5 now to turn it on and set up your Mac. If you would like to learn how to use VoiceOver to set up your Mac, press the Escape key. So it gives you a nice Voice either if you if you need the Mac and then I have to do it properly, but and so we're going to choose uh, Australia and then you click uh, continue and and you choose the keyboard layer. And then you can continue, and then you can choose to, to um, transfer information from another Mac, from a Windows PC, from another, from another um, drive, or not now. We're going to choose not now, so I can download it. And then you can get a new location. Yes. Now you need to type in your 
And then that was how the water cloud for you. So <laughs> now, alright, um, I'm going to give you a quick little tip. If you, if you don't want that, if you got on two um, screens and the wrong one is the main screen, you guys need to go into your system preferences and click on this button um, um, and this boy and then you click on arrangement then see if the white bar and drag it over to this and drag it over to here and now now the other screen is the main screen right um uh, thanks for watching and i'm gonna have more videos on mountain on to come right cool we'll see you soon